Almost every day for the past two weeks, the world has been watching the crippled Fukushima Daiichi power plant, hoping for confirmation that a nuclear catastrophe has been averted. But with fire, smoke and high pressure at troubled reactors, there have been major setbacks and the situation is anything but stable. This is not under control, says Kamisawa Chihiro. They have no idea how bad it is inside the reactors. The March 11 quake and tsunami completely knocked out power to the nuclear plant's cooling systems. Since then, TEPCO, the plant's owner, has been desperately trying to restore power while using hundreds of tonnes of seawater to cool the reactors and avoid a radiation meltdown. And experts say this creates another set of problems. It's a risky situation, says Professor Tadashi Yoshida. The salt can clog the fuel rods and damage the coating. It can also cause them to heat up and melt. More than 600 workers are rotating in shifts, staying just a few hundred metres from the reactors. They're working in harsh conditions, constantly putting themselves at risk. As this crisis enters its third week, TEPCO has confirmed there are at least 17 workers who have exceeded their radiation exposure limit, but continue to work day after day regardless of the potentially grave consequences. The radiation level is very high, so uh, uh, I'm sure they are, in a sense, uh, in a very tough situation. While TEPCO says it can't put a time frame on containing the crisis, some nuclear experts fear it may be years before this is over. The disaster won't end until they open up the pressure valve, says Professor Yoshida. And for the Three Mile Island crisis in the US, that took at least 10 years. But at the moment, there is no way of knowing. And for the people of Japan, that long wait could feel like an eternity. Anna Corrin, CNN, Tokyo.